Still on Sherman Avenue, we buy scrap metals. And probably based on what I'm seeing here, I can probably see why Sherman and Power, because it it definitely is a rougher looking area through here. Definitely several beware of dog signs back through here and houses that are definitely a little bit rougher through here. Free kittens right through here. Somebody's living in that one. Lagonda Avenue. Sherman and Lagonda, another vacant house right there. lot where probably a business or house used to stand. 1165 Lagonda Avenue, that is for rent. Unique fourplex. That one is empty too. We don't dial 911. Well, sometimes dialing 911 doesn't do you a damn bit of good. I'm gonna follow down Farlow Street, see what we got down here. Looks like an old industrial area. Don't know if it's still being used. There's a few semis, but can't really tell what's being used or what's not being used throughout here. The bike path runs right along the side of here, or at least one of the bike paths does. Yeah, you could see an empty lot over there. Empty house right here, undoubtedly. See some of the grass right through there. Water Street. Here we got an empty one right over here, Farlow and Water Street. Yep, another one right there. It's empty. Let's 
State Route 4, I believe, above right there. Middle Street. So, Lagonda Avenue right there, that's empty. Looks like people out here waiting on the bus. Over here. For rent in that apartment complex. I believe I'm just passing under the State Route 4 bypass, which it looks like it, at least this part of it looks like it was just recently redone. Not too long ago. St. Bernard Catholic Church right here. Hey, is the is the, is the inside of the church open? Yeah, I just want to do some videos of it for my YouTube page. So this is St. Bernard Catholic Church right here. Lagonda and Avondale, this Yeah, this definitely borders a as I said, this this town is pretty similar to where I live at in East Dayton. St. Bernard Catholic Church, Lagonda Avenue. Yep, two more empty houses, or at least one right there. So anyway, YouTube, that's going to be it for this one. From Springfield, Ohio, I believe this is on the eastern edge of the town.